here are my quick tips for symmetry. A lot of times my students will pick something really simple like a bottle or a mug or a wine bottle or something like that to draw, thinking that it's so simple, it's got to be easy. The problem is, is that trying to get something really symmetrical can be actually quite tough. So these are my quick tips so that you can line things up and that way when you're drawing something that's symmetrical, it's not going to look like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Okay, there are some things that you can do at the onset of a symmetrical drawing that are going to help to make sure that your symmetry turns out better in the end. The first thing that I did is that I'm going to do a vertical axis. So I drew this line in the center of my page. That's going to help me because that way I make sure that the object isn't going to be leaning. Um, and then I can also take something like a dowel a measuring tool and I can measure one side versus the other side to see that they're equal. So when we go through sighting, that's going to help you a lot. The next thing that I did was that at um, the horizontals at the widest and the narrowest points of the weights of the curve, I set up these hor horizontal dashes here and I used a ruler to do that. Um, and so for example, with this bottle, you can see that I set dashes at the lid where the lid comes, where the neck comes in just a little bit at the shoulder and then also at the foot. This is going to help me when I'm using sighting that we're going to go over later in order to make sure that these halves are equal as well. But the other thing that it's going to help me to do is it's going to make sure that the height of these curves end at the same spot and the height of these curves end at the same spot and that the edge of the lid start and stop at the same spot horizontally so that that way you don't have tilted lids on a straight bottle. Now once I've used my quick setup tips and I've drawn the drawing, I have a couple of options for checking my work. The first thing I'm going to do once I feel like I've completed my drawing is that I'm going to turn my drawing upside down. Usually this enables me to see these curves slightly differently and I can see when they're a little bit off. I can see that this one to me looks a little bit better, so I could actually modify this one a little bit to change that to match this one more. And so just by switching my viewpoint, I can actually see the drawing more clearly than if um, I were just looking at it upright again. The other thing that I can do for that same switch in viewpoint is take the drawing to a mirror and then just by reversing the drawing, Usually something that's a little bit off in the drawing is going to jump out at me and then I can go back to my drawing table and make those modifications. Again, it's just switching the viewpoint so that you can see the thing that you've been staring at for so long in a different way and that's going to help you to see what needs correction and what looks great. I hope this helps you draw all those still life objects with a little less lean and wobble. Maybe they'll turn out a little bit more symmetrically with these quick tips. Thank you all so much for watching. More videos are coming soon, so if you wish to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and do that. And also you can check out my website, lzmstudio.com.